here at Nationwide Arena today. The Blue Jackets are going to play their final home game before the Olympic break, and they're doing that against the Florida Panthers. I'm Bob McElligot alongside of Jody Shelley. And, Jody, even more importantly, the Blue Jackets are looking to string together back-to-back -to -back wins before they head out on the road to California to play against the Anaheim Ducks, the Los Angeles Kings, and the San Jose Sharks leading into the Olympic break. So that puts a lot of focus on this game. And if uh, they didn't have enough focus on it, the Carolina Hurricanes leapfrog the Blue Jackets last night. They're in the playoff picture. The Blue Jackets are one point out, so that makes it even bigger. Yeah, it's, it's it. we're, we're singing the same song and doing the same dance, but it's uh, it's how it is. You wake up this morning, Carolina played, and uh, they are now ahead of the Blue Jackets, and uh, Columbus has to stick with uh, the plan. And, and we talk about segmenting this season. I was thinking about this this morning. We're not going to turn the page on January. There's only a few games left here in this segment, we'll call it, before the Olympic break. Finish out strong. Four games here, one at home. Last one before the break. It's going to be a while before they play again here at home. Finish strong here. Give the fans what they want to see. And then go out to California and do some damage. Go into the break and then start the next segment. I, I like what they're doing, uh, but I still feel this morning with this pregame skate, there's urgency. And I was trying to figure out why there was more smiles. Marion Gabrick skated this morning. That makes everybody smile. Uh, no question about that. Does this game give you the feeling at all of last Saturday's game against the Buffalo Sabres? Case in point, you've got the uh, Florida Panthers in here. They're not playing their best hockey right now. They're struggling in their last ten, and they're wrapping up a four-game road trip tonight. They've lost two of the first three on this road trip. So it's one of those, to me, it's another one of those trap kind of games that if you don't have the right mental attitude when you start into this, you could find yourself in trouble. No question, but I think that the timing for the Florida Panthers could be off with the mindset and the lessons that have been learned here in the last seven days. You know, you learn lessons throughout the season, uh, early in the season, middle of the season, late in the season. Uh, I think the, the Blue Jackets have, have had a little uh, refresher here in the last week with those three losses uh, of things that they can't do, tendencies and, and urgency and preparation. Uh, I think they're rested. That's not an excuse. I think there's, uh, there's urgency, and I think that uh, that taste that they had in their mouth before last week's win uh, will only be feel better with another win here today. I love what Ryan Johansson said after the game on Thursday. He said, we were challenged by our coach. I was personally challenged by my coach. He answered the challenge. He went out and he scored two goals in that game. But, again, we talked about this on Thursday. For Ryan Johansson and for some of the other young players, it's about consistency. So that night was great. Now come back out and do it again tonight. Yeah, no question. It's uh, These guys, and we mentioned before, I don't know if they know how valuable they are personally to this team. They, they, the, the coach has done a great job of implement, implementing the system. Uh, the guys are playing into it. Uh, and, but, but individually, there's the moments in the game where these guys need to raise their level and be that guy. And uh, I think that consistency is something that's part of maturity. And I think these lessons, these guys are taking harder and harder. They want to win. Speaking of that, what did you think of the switch in the few lines last game uh, with Nathan Horton going with Ryan Johansson and Boone Jenner? Obviously, it worked out well on the score sheet. Let's, just, let's take away from the points just your observations of the way that they worked throughout the entire game. I liked it. I, I mean, right away, Boone Jenner had a, uh, on their first shift, he had a shot on that, and I like that. He's, he's not worried about getting the puck uh, to Johansson or Horton. He's the, his mindset was that whole game he hit, he played straightforward hockey, and he got the puck to the net. Um, I like That's a good sign for me. And then when with Horton out there with Johansson, there was a, a shift there with Johansson. Uh, I thought would usually shoot shoot the puck when he was on the left side of the ice, on the right on the hash mark. He made a nice little pass over to Horton, who couldn't really get a handle on it because he got hooked. But those little plays like that are, are, are plays you make in confidence. If you're not confident with your your winger on that in that position, you shoot the puck. You don't make that little play. So nice to see those little plays. I like to see that confidence, especially you're in the shift. The guys were excited. I think the whole team was excited about those little changes. It just sometimes. Uh, Sometimes it's it's a minor adjustment like that, switching Anisimov and Johansson, that, that can spark the forwards. And I, I think that they, they played a good game. It wasn't perfect. You heard Todd Richards talk about the third period and managing the puck. But this will be a different kind of uh, a game tonight. This is a young, talented group. So the Blue Jackets, uh, yeah, they need the consistency out of those guys. Consistency out of those guys, but they got to be sharp early. Let's talk about the Florida Panthers for a moment. They are a young group, and they're dynamic, and they're going to get better. But when you look between the pipes, there is a grizzled veteran back there, and that's Tim Thomas. And you had a chance to talk to him just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty incredible. He took a year off. He walked away from hockey. And then he comes back, and he finds a job this year with the Florida Panthers. And uh, 
I just talked to him. I said, how are you feeling? He, you know, he's a 39-year-old guy. He'll be 40 in April. He said, I feel great. I said, yeah, so, uh, you know, you must, nothing, no problems. He goes, yeah, when I play 15 games in a row, you know, I might need a night off. But other than that, no, I, I feel pretty good. And his other comment was, uh, I said, first, for, first question was how are things going. He said, well, things are better when we win. He's a guy that's a competitive guy. He, he's a nice presence in that room because they have a lot of young players. And, you know, one that jumps off the page to me is that Huberdeau. Yeah. And uh, he's a talented player. And, 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 and along with uh, Tim Thomas, along with Ed Jovanovski, make up some uh, great leadership for that group. One of the problems that they're having is keeping the puck out of the back of their net right now, and that's something that the Blue Jackets have to exploit and continue to put the pressure on. And I would guess that here you are playing your last home game before the Olympic break, so that pressure's got to come immediately off the opening faceoff. Yeah, this is uh, on both sides. Uh, the, the, I mean, the Blue Jackets have got to, got to focus on that. Get the puck at the net, obviously. That's, if that's their Achilles heel, go for it. But then you're going to have the other team focusing and adjusting to, make, to, to work on things. So if, you know how it goes. If the power play is not going, the team's working on the power play. If the, if the goals are going in, you're working on defense. Uh, they got the worst power play in the league. I, know, I just noticed that. It's at 9%. It, it's, these are things that this team has a lot to work on. But you said right. Their focus will be uh, keeping the pucks at the back of the net. That's a fragile situation. When you're focusing on that, if Columbus can come out and jump on that and, and get a couple goals, maybe bad angle goals, you'll get that deflated uh, feeling out of these Florida Panthers. Tonight's game getting underway at 7 o'clock here at Nationwide Arena. You're going to be between the benches yes, tonight. Yes, back between the benches. All right, Jody's between the benches on Fox Sports Ohio. I'll be on the Blue Jackets radio network. We hope you come out and join us again. This is the last home game for a month. The Blue Jackets aren't going to be back home until March the 1st because of the Olympic break. That'll do it for the morning skate edition of the Inside Edge. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligan.